All right, so I wanted to give something a try. I've been wanting to do for a long time. I watch this all over like YouTube and stuff. Um, basically, you mix a bunch of acrylic paint together and you just pour it on a canvas. This is actually my very first try. Totally screwed it up, put way too much water in there and it looks like crap. This is my second try, you know, also looks like absolute crap. Wasn't very happy with it. Um, however, you're gonna see on this next one, this is my best attempt yet. This is. Uh, this is called the infinity pour apparently, but I did black white. I did this tan red brown. It looks freaking awesome. You'll see in a sec. So you just really, you know, pat it down, really get it in the corners and it looks really cool. It's like this bloody red kind of sea looking thing. I was really happy with it. Uh, messed around with a few other styles. This one's called just like the circle pour, the ring pour. Ended up looking pretty cool as you can see here in the pictures. Um, messing around with some other styles here. Really like the colors, the way this turned out. Kind of looked like a, a tuna fish or something, but messing around with some spirals. Um, yeah. So again, this is just day one. This is my first time doing it. This picture turned out pretty cool, but basically I was ready to upgrade. So day two, I got a little pan. I drilled some holes in the side and put some little wooden dowels in there just to hold my canvas. Um, experimenting with some different styles here where you just do a circle and you put a freaking marble in there. Check this out. So you put the marble in, you just roll it around and it gives this really cool effect. And um, I totally did not mix the paints well this time, so it didn't end up well, but this is my second attempt here. I was super, super happy with this one. Little canvas, a little bit easier but as you can see, it turned out awesome. So this is the first time I really attempted a big one. So this is some technique I learned online. I tried to make it the white and the yellow go through the middle, but it ended up not working the way I wanted it to. Um, as you can see, the purple goes up through the middle, so it didn't have that shooting effect that I wanted and realized I didn't use enough paint, so I had to really spread it out. Didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but it's okay, it's all about learning. Um, so I got to give credit to Lauren on this one. So she actually was in the garage with me doing this. She did a great job here. Um, this might actually be one of my favorite ones. So we did a little rainbow marble thing. And as you can see, it turned out freaking awesome. She's really happy about it too. So, um, you know, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've, you know, been trying a bunch of techniques today. Um, you know, definitely a little expensive, costs like 150 bucks just for all the materials, just getting all the paint together. It's definitely an expensive hobby. Um, but overall, the whole reason I did this is I just wanted to get some house decorations because when you start looking at like paintings on the wall and they're very abstract art, it gets freaking expensive. And you know, I'm a pretty artistic guy, so I just really wanted to uh, try to do it myself. So actually this one here, this is probably my favorite one. This one turned out freaking awesome. It's kind of like this, this amethyst blue Arizona color mixed with like this Grand Canyon brown and white. Really happy with the way this one turned out. Um, yeah, just beautiful colors. I'm actually definitely keeping this one, probably keep it in our living room or something, but this is my last one of the day. Um, try to go for that infinity pour style again, kind of the Rastafarian black and white. Um, didn't turn out the way I was hoping for necessarily, but again, it's all about learning. Learned a lot of great stuff in the last few days. Really excited to keep this thing going. Um, and again, if, if y'all ever want any of this stuff, my goal is to make this for my friends. I really just want to, um, you know, obviously charge for it, but if you guys are interested, please hit me up. Definitely excited to, uh, sell some of this art because I love doing it and I think it looks pretty cool. So peace. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.